Hello, my name is John Hacker. I'm a field service engineer with United Conveyor Corporation. Today we're going to demonstrate how to install a nuvoloid to bevel pipe connection. But before we get started, I want to point out that this is an instructional video and is only intended to be used as a training aid. This video is not intended as a replacement for instructions found on UCC form 91140. Proper installation of a nuvoloid to bevel connection is important in any installation to prevent leakage through the coupling and ensure proper pipe alignment. Improper installation of a nuvoloid to bevel connection can cause air leakage through the joint leading to conveying capacity problems and accelerated wear of components. These problems can cause unforeseen downtime, increase maintenance costs, and negatively affect overall system performance. Before we start, we need to make sure we have the correct tools. We need hand wrenches, a hammer, torque wrench. Depending on the size and location of the connection, lifting equipment may be necessary for the installation. It's also important to follow all safety policies instituted by your plant. Remember to always use appropriate safety equipment, such as hard hat, steel toe boots, eye protection, and gloves may not be required, but it's a good idea to protect your hands. Each connection you'll be working with from UCC comes in an individual box. These are individual parts for that connection. UCC recommends bringing that box out to the work area and opening it up and inventory the contents. Also, when you open that box up, inside you're going to find a drawing for each connection that's inside that box. You can inventory it by that drawing and it also shows you how to install the component. Okay, let's get started. Once we're at our work site, we have all our parts inventoried and all our tools. We're ready to proceed to make the connection. When installing the locking ring, due to the casting of the nuvoloid pipe, they may not slide right on and may be a little tight. At that point, you may need to use a wedge to wedge that locking ring open a little bit. It slides on the nuvoloid pipe. And that'll be a fixed flange once that's all tightened down for the connection. The second thing we want to do is take our gasket, making sure that we put this on the correct way, and slide this on the pipe. This will slide right up and butt up to the end of the pipe. At that point, we can slide our locking ring over onto our gasket, and we'll take our locking clamp bolt. All right, our next step is going to be install the flange clamps on the bevel side. The flange clamp is a split flange clamp and comes in two pieces for the 8 inch connection. First thing we want to do is put one connection on the bevel and have it held in place with a bolt. At that point, we can rotate it around and have a second bolt put in place. And this will hold your flange clamp to the bevel end while you're getting ready to work everything else. As you move along, you just want to continue putting bolts in your flange clamp. At this point, you can get it lined up to where you want it. As we move ahead, I have both the locking clamp and the two split flange clamps together with bolts running through them just hand tight. Notice I left two holes, two openings on the top a part of the locking clamp and flange clamps. That's because with this connection, there's two longer bolts that'll go through these connections to finish this connection up. At this point, we'll put those through. Also putting them on just hand tight.
And once those connections are all hand tight, then we can take our insert. The insert is made to keep the gasket from pushing up through the, the split in the locking clamp. So we'll take that insert and we'll slide that into place above the gasket. Now you'll notice that we have the connection put together and we have all the hardware hand tight. We want to keep it hand tight and we want to go through it systematically so we're tightening it down and allowing the, the connection to move around a little bit before it gets locked down and tightened. So we're going to take our wrenches and we're going to go around diametrically opposing and just tighten each nut and bolt with a wrench just hand tight or, or just snug so it's all snug. Once all the hardware on the outside of the connection kit from the locking clamp to the split flange clamp are tightened with a hand wrench, hand tight down, then we're going to tighten this lock, locking nut. The reason why we want to tighten this last is allow this connection to move a little bit to keep this uh, flange clamp from breaking any of the ears off as we torque down. So we'll take our wrench and we'll start tightening our locking clamp down. Once the connection's been made, now we're going to go around and we're going to torque each individual nut with a torque wrench. I, I would say refer to the 91140 UCC instruction for proper torque. This one being a red gasket will be 50 foot pound, pounds for all the nuts on the flange clamps to the split flange clamp to the locking flange clamp. And then the top one will be 500 foot pounds not using any anti-seize on these at all. So we'll go through and torque these. I also recommend is as you torque these, take a Sharpie and mark the ones you torque. Torque in a crisscross pattern, diametrically opposing, torque this one and come down and torque the, the one underneath it, come back up, torque this one, come back down and torque opposite. And keep going through, they're all torqued. Once these are all torqued, then we'll go ahead and we'll torque our lock nut down. Our locking nut may need a, a multiplier which we have here, that'll multiply the torque to 500 foot-pounds and a cheater bar to slide on there to torque it down. With your torque multiplier in place, you're going to torque the locking nut down to 500 foot-pounds, stopping every so often and hitting it with a hammer. That'll set the locking ring up on your Nouveloy pipe clamp and make this a permanent connection. Now that your Nouveloy connection kit is properly installed, we need to restore the system and begin system tests. Once normal operating temperatures are restored, we can check and retorque the connections and monitor the system for leaks. Proper installation of connections will reduce maintenance costs and costly system downtime. For more information on Nouveloy connections and other UCC products and parts, contact your local sales representative or visit our website at www.unitedconveyor.com. Thank you for watching.